Hallo. Hallo, hallo, hallo. Someone say hello. Or I'm not going to start. Hello, Gail. And hello, Phil. Welcome to my Sunday night session. I, um... Uh, <laughs> I did a couple of sound checks and one of them changed my setting. Facebook does this. You do one and you put, me only. And blah, 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 and on it goes. Then you go, I'll do one more sound check. You do that. Facebook, unbeknownst to you, changes the setting to public. So some of you might have heard me faffing around. Please just ignore. I've deleted them now anyway. Hi Dave and hello Frankie. Right, done this one once before. It's called Sofa Number One. It's a tune written by Frank Zappa. It's on the One Size Fits All album. But this version of it is a version that was done by a chap called Michael Hedges, who died quite young sadly very unique and individual guitar player which makes this quite hard to play it's a bizarre tuning I've never experienced before it's D G D E A C sharp nice sounds nice eh all the shapes are completely different so it's like learning to play another instrument so here's hoping this is so far And that's so far. It's all good so far. Okay, this is uh, how I'll say hello to Kevin, Leslie, Julia, Elizabeth, Marion, and yeah, 
That's us. Okay, it's uh, very, very tricky to play that. It maybe doesn't sound as uh, as uh, spazzy as some of the stuff that I do, but it's actually probably the hardest thing I do. And the wee, <clears throat> wee bits that still need ironed out. But there you go. This is a bit more conventional. James Taylor, you can close your eyes. Cyril, hi Dave, and uh, hi Paul, yeah, Zappa's always, uh, <clears throat> sounds a bit strange first time, actually so far it's a really nice tune, once you hear it a few times you'll be amazed how it sticks in your mind, <laughs> but playing it is, uh, poof, it's a bit of a push, hi Dunk, okay this is one of my songs, and it's uh, about a fictional girl from Cowdenbeath, Called Annie from Primer Place. I'm sure there's bound to be a plenty of girls called Annie from Primer Place or nearby, but I just made it up. She doesn't actually exist. Um, but she's just like you and me. Just like you and me 
that you never know She never let you see She found herself with a lover's child And she married the boy who made her smile And she was happy for a little while Well, as far as she could be Just like you and me Too small to be seen By the winner Just like you and me. Now she's living on her own. The joker left and the kids have flown. She grits her teeth and she carries on. Just like you and me, too small to be seen by the winners in the world. Want to make deals, don't believe that she can't feel. I'm just an ordinary girl, just like you and me. Just like you. Okay, the story of Annie. Hey, Paul. Right, this is uh, <clears throat> going back a long way. This one, it's a, a song that was uh, written by Jerry Rafferty a long time ago. I watched him being interviewed about it. He said it was about his father in law from his first marriage and <laughs> so, so it sounds like it could be. This is, uh, her father didn't like me anyway. The coat she wore still lies upon the bed. The book I gave her that she never read. Left without a single word to say Her father didn't like me anyway She always wanted more than I could give She wasn't happy with the way we lived I didn't feel Asking her to stay Her father didn't like me anyway Daddy never knew Just what she'd seen in me He said that I was going I know I only got what I deserve 
hour still lies upon the bed The book I gave her that she never read She left without a single word to say Her father didn't like me Father didn't like me anyway. Hello, Penny, and hi, Craig. Yep, Primer Place, Hunting Tigers. That rings distant bells, Dave. Hi, Jill. And hi, Steph. Just going to have a wee look at something here. Hmm, okay. Right. I don't know why I was having a wee look at that. Anyway, this is my last acoustic number. It's Bees Wing. Thompson. Haven't done it for ages. Haven't had a chance to practice it. Ooh, air, missus. Okay. No safety in it. Hi, Steph. Hello, Kath. Okie dokie, bees ring. Down the girl one time. 
we shouldn't wait for frost And I thought maybe we should We was drinking more in those days And tempers reached a pitch And like a fool I let her run With the rambling itch And the last I hear she's sleeping out Back on the Derby beat White horse in her hip pocket And old found at her feet And they say she even married once A man named Romany Brown but even a gypsy caravan was too much settling down And they say her flower is faded now Hard weather and hard booze But maybe that's just the price you pay For the chains that you refuse She was a rare thing Fine as a bee's wing And I miss her more than ever words could say If I could just taste All her wildness now If I could hold her in my arms safety in it. microphone up a wee bit. Okay, this is, um, I haven't done it for ages, it's a song that was written and recorded by the Ozark Mountain Daredevils, what a great name that was, back in the day when, uh, what, what do they call it, country rock I suppose, when the Eagles and, uh, and the New Riders of the Purple Sage, Commander Cody and these guys, uh, the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Not the best of those bands by any means, but one of the best names, I have to say. And this is my favourite song by them. It's a kind of moody thing called Lowlands. <laughs> Cause his 
heart he could not trust I knew a man who could not face the dangers even though he knew he must and it's hard And the grasses will turn to rust But the sun is a fountain Flowing through the lowlands dust Okay, that's my last acoustic number. One of mine again. I have to change tuning slightly, but no by very much. This has to come up a semi. That's it. <laughs> We're in the famous Dadgad tuning now. you've got your dad guy tune because it sounds like the beginning of Send in the Clowns. And I think that's close enough. This, uh, this I wrote before 2014, shall we say. It's called The Country of the Blind. And it needs no explanation, really. Sun is hot and the day is golden Dublin street is all aglow Eyes all closed on the crowded pavements Cause no one wants to know Nothing moves in the townhouse windows Not one flicker of the blind Mindless cars jam up this city In the country of the blind Moon shines cold on a frosty evening Stars burning in the sky And boarded shop fronts Disappointment in your eyes You grew up with a chance of living Someday it would be your time And those who ruled would not prove faithless In the country of the blind With a glimpse of freedom We can turn and walk away But if you're weak Or sick or hungry You know they'll make you pay Raised to feel like second best Taught that thinking was a crime Work to subsidize the rich Country of the blind. Everybody else 
waved my flag and I took my medicine and I and I learned to hate myself. Now I've seen that simple truth. I will no longer walk the line. Hoping that it's not too late. In the country of the blind. Thank you. Okay, give me two ticks to change over. This blooming Mike son's got a mind of its own tonight. Give me two ticks. Pardon me. <laughs> really, you know, it's doing it all from my seat here, but all this stuff around me, I keep knocking things down. Okay, this here. It is one of my favourite uh, bluesy, torchy type songs. Um, just gonna. Yeah, it's not bad. This is. Uh, it's on the album Genius Loves Company, and it's uh, Ray Charles duetting with Bonnie Raitt on this song, which is just absolutely wonderful. And it's called Do I Ever Cross Your Mind? Do I ever cross your mind, darling? Do you ever see some situation somewhere, somehow, trigger your memory? And do you ever wonder? What became of old time? Knew I ever ever cross your mind? Do you ever want to know? Do all dreams go on? Endlessly Or do they just run down somehow And gradually become a custody Of that melancholy jailer Oh, the time Oh no, do I ever, ever cross your mind? Do I ever cross your mind, uninvited? Oh, when 
when you're lonely Or does it only happen to me? Darling, do you ever want to know What became of old Do I ever Ever cross your little bit of fanning now. It's uh, a little song, <laughs> a little song by Little Feet. I remember the first first time I heard this was in a flat in Edinburgh, Scotland Street, the early 70s. A guy called Ian White had this album and it was just a revelation to me. It's called Dixie Chicken. Oh, but boy, do I remember the strain of her 
refrain No thanks we spent together And the way you should call my name If you'll be my Dixie chicken I'll be your Tennessee line And we can walk together down in Dixie land Many years since she ran away Guess that guitar player sure could play She always liked to sing along She's always handy with a song And then one night in the lobby Of the Commodore Hotel I chanced to meet a bartender Who said he knew her well And as he handed me a drink He began to hum a song If you be my Dixie chicken, I'll be your Tennessee lamb. We can walk together down in Dixie land, down in Dixie land. Oh. Dixie Chicken. One to go, and then we're done. <laughs> this is uh, well. It's a chance for you all to sort of practice howling, shall we say? I always enjoy doing this. It's called Werewolves of London. Should be charming. Ah, ooh, werewolf of London. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh, werewolf of London. Ah, ooh. Hear him howling round your kitchen door. Better not let him in. Little old lady got mutilated late last night. Werewolves of London again. Ah, ooh, werewolves of London. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh, werewolves of London. Ah, ooh. He's a hairy handed gent. Who ran a muck in Kent Lately overheard in the fair Better stay away from him He'll rip your lungs out, Jim I'd like to meet his tailor Ah, ooh, werewolves of London Ah, ooh Ah, ooh, werewolves of London Ah, 
tall werewolf blocking with the queen. Doing the werewolves of London. Saw Lon Chuny Jr. walking with the queen. Doing the werewolves of London. Saw a werewolf drinking a pina colada at Trader Vicks. And his hair was perfect. Ah, ooh, werewolves of London. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh, werewolves of London. Ah, ooh. And that is the end of that. <laughs> I had some uh, <laughs> gobbledygook coming out of my gob just now. But there you are. That's me for tonight. And uh, thank you again, everyone, for tuning in to my little show. I have enjoyed it immensely, as always. And now I'm away to have a few beers. And later on, I shall be watching the last ever episode of Peaky Blinders. So... Thanks again, folks. Good night and take care of yourselves.